Hi, I'm Josh Campbell with OSU Extension. And as we get into the summer months, we're spending a lot more time outdoors. We are working more in our, our gardens and our landscapes, and maybe we're even planning time to go out on uh, trips out in the woods, maybe a hike. And so because of that, we are encountering and have more risk of encountering plants like poison ivy. Poison ivy and also poison oak are prevalent across Oklahoma and you find them in landscape areas and, and right on the fringe of, of wooded areas. Um, so it's, it's easy to encounter them and unless you know how to identify them, uh, you may come into contact with them and have uh, irritation and, and problems associated with uh, contacting these plants. And so that's, that's why knowing how to identify them is really important. Like I said, Oklahoma has both poison ivy and poison oak spread out across the state. Um, and they look very, very similar. So identifying be between the two can be difficult. It's really not critical that you know how to identify between the two, but I'll, I'll give you some information about each of these, these plants. Poison ivy, um, the, dis the distinct characteristics of poison ivy are these leaflets that come off of the main, uh, the main stem, leaves of three. And we've all, we all know that uh, children's um, rhyme, leaves of three, let it be. And that's true. That's a good rule of thumb to follow. While it's, it's not true that all leaves of three are going to be irritants and cause problems. If you have any doubt, it's best to avoid leaves of three because odds are it could be poison ivy or poison oak. Plants that contain a, uh, an oil substance called urushiol. And urushiol is what causes the rashes and the irritant uh, uh, blisters and things that are associated with contact with poison ivy and poison oak. Poison oak is very, very similar to poison ivy and it's very difficult to tell apart. The main difference is that poison oak is a little bit uh, fuzzier in the leaves and it has more rounded leaf ends versus the points that you see on poison ivy. And it has lobes that kind of make it look like an oak leaf. It's not critical that you can tell the difference between the two. Um, you want to avoid both of these if possible. One of the, the main characteristics and kind of giveaways of, of these plants is the berries that you see on the plants. Both the poison ivy and the poison oak have these berries, and so that's a good sign. However, there are plants like Virginia creeper, which also have the berries and sometimes are mistakenly identified as a, as a, a, a plant like poison ivy that could cause irritation. Virginia creeper is not a plant that will cause any irritation, and it usually has four or five um, leaves on the leaflet. And so this is one that's commonly mistaken for a irritating uh, plant. We certainly want you to take caution when you're spending time outdoors. And so it's helpful to know how to identify the plants that are gonna uh, cause risk for you. With poison ivy and poison oak, you don't see the rash or the irritation immediately typically. Sometimes it takes as much as 24 or even 48 or 72 hours to really uh, experience the effects of coming into contact with the plant. So if you feel like you may have come in contact with the plant, it's important that you wash um, your hands, wash, wash your arms, wherever you felt like you came in contact using cold water. Um, if you've been outside in the woods, the shoes, the clothes that you're wearing, throw those into the wash. Um, and make sure that those get washed because those oils can stay on surfaces uh, and on clothing. If you have a rash associated with poison ivy or poison oak, you should seek medical attention. Um, there are some, some treatments, uh, but certainly seek medical attention. And if you wanna learn more about how to avoid poison ivy and poison oak as you're spending time outdoors this summer, refer to our fact sheet. We have a fact sheet called Poison Ivy, Poison Oak, and Similar Plant Identification. It's a great resource. It'll walk you through um, how to identify these plants and how to avoid them as you're spending time outdoors this summer.